It's one of the spookiest places in America. If you've lived in Denver long enough, you may have heard about the legends of ghosts in Cheeseman Park. I thought maybe the little a little girl ran by. You heard that, right? Yeah. Lucy, was that you? You're willing to come out and let us know that you're around? Oh my god. Uh. What's up guys, it's Sam McColby. Today we start the very first video in our Stanley Hotel series, which our friends have no idea about, so we're actually gonna go get them right now. All we said before this, it was for Jake and Corey to completely clear their schedules for tomorrow, but they don't even know that we're picking them up right now, so let's do it. Get in the car. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Where your Uber? This is kind of like my little personal Uber. We're getting the squad back together, man. Oh. Woo. Wait, so we're gonna go pick up Elton too? Yes. No. No. Oh. Come hey, hither. Uh, Let's go. I thought you were my neighbor. I thought I was about to get evicted. I told you. <laughs> you are. All right. So we gathered you all here today for one reason, one reason only. Listen, brother. We're back on YouTube, and we're going to the Stanley hey, Hotel. don't hit my star. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, wait, what did you, wait, wait, what did you just say? We're going to the Stanley Hotel. Where's that? Colorado. When? What? Tomorrow. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tomorrow? We're going tomorrow. We already bought you guys tickets. Plane tickets. Halfway across the United States. Do you know what the Stanley Hotel is? Yes, I know the Stanley Hotel. The one that was the Shining is based off yeah, of? The from the, yeah, where the <laughs> no Johnny! No way. Yes. So, I love the Shining. What? I'm so down. This is gonna be sick. Alright, are you as down as he is? No! <laughs> are you joking? Dude, this is known as one of the most haunted hotels in the entire world. And the most famous haunted place in the entire United States. Look it up anywhere. Top haunted in the Has world. Has anyone died there? I'll get into that. Yeah. We, oh, we, all right, so I can't go, guys. There's so many hauntings that have given people nightmares that like they can never live down that Stephen King wrote an entire movie about it. I might be a psychopath, but I'm excited. I love that movie. One of my favorites. Stephen King, uh, love him. We brought you, uh, Corey. Yeah. Corey. Yeah. Right, we're going to have to go get him. He didn't drive here, we picked him up, remember? This is why we picked you up. So I couldn't drive home? Yes. <laughs> I just felt my keys and they weren't there. <laughs> so we actually brought you here tonight because we thought it'd be a good idea to not go in cold like we usually do. So instead of doing all the research there in Colorado, we want to take you guys here and tell you all the stories and hauntings and stuff before you oh, went. Oh, awesome. So we get to be super scared before we even fly there? Yes. yes. Oh, perfect, dude. Thank you, guys. Of I'm course. so happy. The flight's at 7 in the morning tomorrow. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> no way. Are you serious? You said you were free. That's bro. in like nine hours. Exactly. I, I was free, yeah. For Wait, the, what time is it? 7 a.m. 7 you guys want me to wake up that early? Yeah, so that means we get LAX no, bro, you gotta wake up at 5 a.m. Uh, no. So wake uh, up at 4 a.m. Are you ready? All right, breakfast is on you guys. Oh, bye, I hug. So before we actually leave California, let's figure out why this place is haunted. The Shining, which is a movie and a book by Stephen King, is why this is the most famous haunted hotel in the entire world. And basically there's a story behind that where in room 217, which is considered the most haunted room of the entire hotel, Stephen King once stayed there with his wife and had this horrible, horrible nightmare where his kid was running away from a fire hose that was chasing him down the hallways. And then it eventually caught up to him and it strangled him like a snake. Woke up, he was all sweaty, he was like, whoa, that was the craziest nightmare he's ever had in his life. So he went out to his balcony and started smoking a cigarette. By the time he finished that cigarette, he knew that he was gonna make The Shining and came up with all the plot points of it. Wait, so he stayed there before he knew who's gonna make a movie about it? Yeah. What? And it was haunted. That's how haunted it is? Yes, yeah. I thought it was haunted like Loki because of the movie. No, 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 no. If you guys have ever seen that famous scene of a little kid riding his tricycle through like the hallways, the camera's following him, yeah. and then there's like those two girls that are just like dead in the hallway, that's The Shining, and that's based off the hotel we're going to. <sighs> Awesome. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. Red rum. We're 
burger backwards. You get or it. blue rum. Yeah, we're not discriminating here. Thank you, Sam. So yeah, this is the hotel. It literally looks like a castle. It's so nice. And it looks so inviting. Which this is, is going to be creepy. so scary. The most haunted places in the Stanley Hotel are obviously the room that Stephen King stayed at, room 217. So we'll definitely visit that. But then also, the entire fourth floor is known for all the other spirited rooms. That is where we are staying. It's hosted numeral paranormal investigators now us, and appeared in shows such as Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures. Wow, now we're oh. just copying them. Oh. And Shane Dawson. And Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson did this a long time ago. Yeah. So Shout here? out to him. The only thing he does is <gasps> That's probably what we're going to be doing too. So. <laughs> and that's the whole video. Okay. Everybody's going to hate Jake in the comments. Keep it in. So, okay. so cut all this out or else Keemstar is coming for us. Wait, what? There's a place called the Vortex. It's a staircase between floors in the hotel's main guest room and it's a natural spiral of energy oh. for ghosts that are known to haunt the hotel. Yo, I read about this. Wow. They say there's a portal in the middle of the hotel and that must be it. There's a girl that was spotted at the Yo, top of the that? grand staircase. And it's like one of these pictures that like no one can figure out why it happened. Because no. there's the real girl there. Oh, USA wait. Today, and it's on like crazy news all over the place. Did someone take that picture? Someone yeah. took that picture and on the security cameras, there's nothing. One of the very first stories of all the ghosts was this girl named Mrs. Wilson. And Mrs. Wilson! Back to your story about people dying, there was actually a giant gas explosion. A ton of different rooms were destroyed, but the lady that was staying in the room that sparked the explosion survived. Mm -hmm. And because of that, people say that she's still there working there today. Elizabeth Wilson, yeah, right here. She's kind of hot. Like for our old lady. Yeah, yeah. But then the last story I want to mention really quick is about a girl named Lucy, who was a squatter, 13 to 16, run away, didn't have a home, basically orphan, and she hid in, what's it called? The concert hall? According to the hotel maintenance, men came to survey the basement before some major construction below the concert hall. They stumbled into Lucy and forced her to leave. That very night, temperatures dropped below zero, and she was later found dead, frozen by the elements. So this is a video of a door closing while they're doing like a news story. So it's a live broadcasting to television <coughs> and the door closes behind the plate that's talking. One more time, please, Lucy. Lucy, thank you. Lucy, are you cold? That is what Lucy's known for most. She doesn't do any harm, but she'll close doors behind you when you walk into rooms. And then if you like have like lollipops or, or uh, like candy, so she's just this little girl, she can make them move or like fall off your hand. That's a little Dude, yeah. what if you're holding a lollipop? It's just chilling in your hand and all of a sudden you hear a <laughs> One, a two, a three. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh my god. Lollipops. I would literally throw down on Lucy if she did that to me. You're gonna throw down on a 13 year old girl? So with all that being said, we have the research, I think we're ready to go, but we decided to get one more precaution. What's that say? We hired a psychic. And she's coming but we're here. But we're leaving in the morning. When would she? Tonight. In 15 minutes. In tonight. What? In 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this psychic might tell us whether or not we're gonna have a good experience or bad experience. Or she's gonna tell us if we're gonna die tomorrow. Wouldn't you wanna know if you wanna die tomorrow? Maybe no. we won't go if we're gonna die. Yeah. No, oh, I know you guys. You're still gonna wanna go. <laughs> All I'd, right. I'd still go. See if we're haunted. I know what? we're haunted, bro! Are you sure? I don't want more proof! <laughs> Let's ignore it! We will come back when the psychic gets here, but she should be here any minute, so we'll see you then. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> The psychic that we hired just arrived downstairs. We're gonna go get them. I'm gonna see what she has to think about our next adventure. We're both pretty highly skeptical of psychics, but we thought it'd be nice because if she could tell us something, maybe it'll be a good experience, maybe it'll be a bad experience, we don't know. At least we'll find out right now. And while we're enjoying this nice little elevator ride down to our lobby, Guess what? We got merch, boy! We released this last time when we left social media and we haven't been able to talk about it for a month. So yeah, go check it out. Gold edition. This is Sam and Colby 2.0 merch. It's the highest stuff we've ever released. We got this crazy thing on the hoodie, but now the psychic's right outside.
Hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm Sam. Sam, Nadia. Nice to meet Colby. you. Colby, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cool. We got everyone upstairs. Hi. Hello. 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 I'm Jake. Hi, Jake. Nice to meet you. Jake, get out of the freaking blanket. We got some things to do. Have you guys ever been read by a psychic? A few times. Really? A few times. What? It's not their first time. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Corey's a professional. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just go like this and then stuff happens. No way. It's pretty cool. How about you, Jake? No. Are you excited? Yes. All right, sounds good. Do you need anything to start, or should we just well, go ahead? I, I would like different light, if different possible, light. because these lights already have so many colors to them. Okay. That it kind of confuses. So just like a plain white light or that something? That would be amazing, okay. yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Could you kind of just sit on the other side of the couch? They're not too close, they're not too far apart. You can take your jacket off. Right? All right, we got the vibe going on right now. Basically what I do is I pick up the vibe. Right, and we all do that. But every living thing gives off energy and it's known as an aura. Your plants have them, every living thing has this. And you know when people get too close to your personal space, they're kind of invading your aura. And so when the aura has colors in it, it usually kind of matches that part of your chakra system. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be concentrating on is just your general colors and then what's kind of coming up for you sooner rather than later. Any questions? Sounds good. Is it going to hurt? <laughs> Tremendously. Oh, God. <laughs> but look at your necklace looks painful, so you're it's into pain. Painful. I yeah. think we're I good. Like you're into pain. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Just take a deep breath. This is fun. Empty the nose okay. out. Through the mouth, no talking for a second. Three. If you do that three times, that'd be great. You know what else is interesting is that we're attracted to different colors. Like you guys have your hair colored a certain way and you are wearing yellow. And that happens to be like the first kind of general color I picked up from you, which is kind of an adventurous leader kind of spirit. And your hair kind of even matches that, yeah. you know, so you're presenting yellow. Um, and that's a lot of fun. It's a lot of good things up ahead. That's good. But you've got more blue, Blues are more creative writers, a little different centered than the yellow. You make you guys make a good team together. That's a good sign. That's, that's probably a good thing. <laughs> You've got this trip coming up. When are you when are you guys leaving? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. So I told you about the future side and um yours is fine. Yours is fine. That's good. That's two out of four, right? That's that's fifty fifty. <laughs> The two of you have something going on, something coming up for you um, in the future. Doesn't necessarily mean it's tomorrow, um, but it is coming up and it's a little bit darker than I would like to see. Uh, are you guys taking precautions? Uh, kind of. Well, you, you've done this kind of ghost haunting stuff before, right? Yeah. So what do you do to protect your energy, to protect yourselves from running into something or well, or picking up something that you didn't want, you know what I mean? He yeah. always thinks we should, but we yeah. don't. Yeah, yeah. You, you should. I mean, I've, I've done like saging and all that before, and I, and I always have great. my cross and all that, but these boys never... It's so hard to predict exactly. It's just like feelings and colors. I can't tell you, you know, turn right instead of left or anything like that. It's not an easy path. It's not the safest path. You guys are all pretty young. Uh, these spirits are not. Yeah. They are older and wiser than you are. Um, That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really scary. I don't like that. And for you, it's, it's a little different. It's a little different, Colby. It's um. Yeah, the scene is a little black in in that future field, and uh, I don't like that color. It's not. Not a good color. What what colors do you wear when you go to these places? Black. Black. You yeah. wear black. Because why do you wear black? I always wear black. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing black now, but do you always wear black on these things? I mean, it just depends. But, I mean, usually I, I wear black, right? Like yeah, you would say I like, wear black yeah. mostly. 
And what is it? Why do you guys wear black so much? Style. I mean. Yeah, it's easy, right? Everything goes with black. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I would suggest a little green, um, because again, green is the heart color. So bring along something a little green. Gold is also good. First Lincoln bio, got gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's yellow. We're talking oh, a little okay. more gold, sir. <laughs> Are you able to do like a personal like hand reading maybe to You know, I can look but I'm not that's not really my thing. Okay. But but I'd I'd love to just give I it mean, a, a go a check through and see what I see. Maybe or, just you and I, right? If we have Or, or just just you, bro. You know, I can just watch <laughs> yours and then I can just be like, Oh, that's cool. <laughs> 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 I like to paint my nails. That's good, that's good. Yeah. So we were talking about you kind of giving off more of a blue energy. As far as tomorrow and, and that, that darker energy, that's, that's the future that's coming up for you. Well, we talked about protection and, and maybe wearing some green. Well, let's see what your palm says. Now, again, this is not my specialty. Um, I like the rings. Thank you. I like the nail polish. Thank you. That's a playful kind of energy. It's spirit. very playful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's probably more of a romantic than either of you. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's look at the lifeline. Lifeline goes this way, and then yours just kind of branches off here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> You will have a long and healthy life. How's that? I, I, like, that. I like that. <laughs> that. That works good. Yeah. Perfect. Sign up for that. Now, your colors. We were talking about your colors and uh, finding the brown, the slightly muddy part. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess it's it's more for me right now. It's more about tomorrow or in the near future, this, this thing that you're gonna come up against that you've come up against before. And um, I want you to know that though it may be frightening, you'll be ready for it. So you're saying that the, the bad that you see is most likely tomorrow? Well, it's, it's gonna come up soon, but I don't want you to panic. Yeah, I mean, I got my cross, you know, I got my rings with my crosses and everything, so. Right. Yeah, Corey never and panics. I'll, and I'll, and I'll pray. Yeah, dude, I'm not scared at all, dude. <laughs> you know, I've been ready for this trip since about 30 minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for a good 30 minutes. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, we label things bad. Now, when you're going into the spirit world, you, you kind of are crossing into territory that's maybe not always best disturbed. But most of life is not good or bad. It's just experiences to help you grow and move on. And how long do you want to continue doing this ghost stuff? Till we get 10 million subscribers, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> subscribers? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if we hit 10 know. million subscribers right now, we we'll won't stop. go to the Stanley Hotel. <laughs> you, you feel like you guys are pushing your luck uh, by doing this? I mean, yeah, it was the whole reason that we quit YouTube for the last three weeks. It was, it was getting way too dangerous. Yeah. It's scary, but I have fun. You have fun? <laughs> so you're, you're looking forward to this? Yeah. 100%? I'm excited. How about you, Corey? Huh? Are you looking forward he's, to he's it? He's closed. Do you notice yeah. his, his body posture? Give me a hand in <laughs> Open I'm up. Sweating, bro, my palms are sweaty. <laughs> These weak arms are heavy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to start rapping an Eminem song. Your lifeline, bam. Strong, full, long. Yeah! yeah that's right. Oh. Take that, Colby. <laughs> he's living a long and healthy life. Too. Oh, he is? Yes. Okay. It's just cool. something is weird going to happen. And you mm. said if with Corey, mm. it had to do with something that he's seen before? It feels like he's coming up against a previous experience that he had when he was younger. And just, it's going to be a little different. And you know what that is. Dude, wait, you've told me about that before. He's ready for it. Because he's been yeah. holding this in his energy. Uh, and he's ready to let it go. And I'm afraid it may take a shock or a jolt to do that. Mm -hmm. But that happens to all of us. If we, if we want something and we 
and we don't follow through it, with it, like something happens and you, you're pushed into it. You know, you're, you get uh, fired from your job that you hated. You know, yeah. it's, it's that kind of thing. So you're ready for this healing. It just may not feel like a healing at the moment. Sounds like the shadow man to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It sounds like some demon is about to return. Like since you've seen me, like met us or like way, way past. No, bro, that was when I was a little kid. Then I didn't find out what it was until I was like 17. For but the, yet I've seen it for years. For have the you? viewers that have no idea what you're talking about and for her, what exactly happened? Maybe she could help you figure that out. I used to play with a Ouija board a lot when I was a little kid. By yourself? Yeah, by myself, with friends, with family. But by myself, yeah, a lot. Because I thought it was so cool, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And then, uh, yeah, right before I was like 18, just some really bad things with a Ouija board happened. Like, long story short, me and my friends played it. They didn't believe in the devil or God. Then all of a sudden, it started spelling out Zozo. Then we ran into the other room. The other room's doorknob starts shaking, the door shaking. Shadows start walking under the door. My oh friend my goes, gosh. dude, it's your parents pranking us. Open the door. Right. There's no one there. Oh, man. So then we shut the door, and then we're like, we got to go do something. We open the door again. All the lights in the kitchen are just flashing on and off. And then my homie's girlfriend was like, can I pray in your kitchen? And I was like, yeah. She starts <laughs> yeah. to pray, and as soon as she says, Jesus Christ, all the lights go out. Oh, we ran back to the room. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, so just stuff like that. It is, I think, and that's, that's actually opening a, a portal you don't really want to open. I mean, going to a haunted place is one thing, but trying direct communication through a Ouija board. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's I, horrible. It's horrible. We have to go tomorrow. You sure? <laughs> Are you sure we have to go? I already bought the tickets, bro. Positive. Yes. Okay, non refundable. I could have swore there was like a new movie coming out tomorrow, though. But it's fine. I'll just oh, you it. wanted to go watch that instead? Yeah, but it's cool. Okay. It's called The Shining Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I didn't give you much attention. Are you, are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you feeling, young man? I mean, I wasn't prepared to hear that That's today. Some, there's that black energy here? Yeah. yeah. But I'm ready. I mean, we've been planning this for so long now. Like, we just have to do it. Yeah, and don't forget, bring green. You guys bring love. What's like the worst color green? Black. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's my whole closet. And clean yourselves off when you when you leave. Yeah. Brush off the yeah all the way down your arm and off. Okay. All the way down and flick it. Down and flick. Jake. Well, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate pleasure. it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Great to meet you. You too. I'm so scared. Mm. I can't wait to see what happens. Well, <laughs> thank you for everything that you just told us. I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a little, I'm a little scared, you know what I'm saying, but... But you're ready. Yeah. You are full of strength. You're grounded in the earth. And you're ready. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like Jake's nervous, bro. Quiet one. That's what we should call him the entire session. Dude, you barely just talked. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, he's... I'm shy sometimes. He's shy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Alright. Thank you so much for coming hug. out randomly. I need to give you your hug. Of course. Mm -hmm. And you know what else you can do, gentlemen? You can hold hands. Oh, oh my god. Not with Jake and after that. Yeah, I know. Not with Wax Boy. Wax Boy. <laughs> wax Boy. And then I want you to do this tomorrow too before you go in. So you just take a second to connect. Take that breath again in through the nose, out through the mouth. You've got sensors in your lower lungs. And when you take the time to breathe into that space, it signals your body that everything's okay. Because you can't do deep breathing when you're scared. Huh? All right. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks again. Appreciate it. Corey, are you like, are you scared now? Like, dude, what does that mean yeah, for I'm us? I'm scared. Have you been thinking about something like in your childhood or anything like that? Or does that complete BS, like you think? N no, it's very weird because I've been talking about Ouija boards a lot lately. You think she knew something? Is yeah, it? bro, she's a reader, right? How did she just call all that? I was gonna say, she's pretty accurate for everyone except maybe Jake, but he didn't say much, so maybe that was I funny. believe that those people are real, bro. I believe that people like that, like, have, like, a talent and all that's real. Next video, you're gonna see me, like, looking like a leprechaun. I'm gonna have a green <laughs> top hat and, like, a green suit on, just walking around. Bro, watch me wear all black. I don't give a <laughs> Jake, you're just, like, asking for bad things to happen. Don't you <laughs> <laughs>
Anyway, so uh, <laughs> Stanley Hotel tomorrow. Let's go, baby. What's up? I'm tired and I want to die. What's up, man? Wait, did any of you bring a uh, green? Oh, are you, I told oh, you, are you gonna, gonna you pinch us? I didn't bring green on purpose. All right, guys, we're tired. It's six in the morning. Let's do this. Thank you. Next stop, Stanley Hotel. <laughs> you ever had these before? No. I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> Crying. Dude, do you know what this room is? It was like kaboom. It was a like loud, but loud. No way! Yes! No way! I got that one on camera. Whoa, whoa. Yo, it's right there. Here we go. Welcome to the Stanley Hotel.